Hi everyone, welcome to the next video on our Ivy in the Inky Butterfly page. Now we have this really tiny teacup to colour today which is quite interesting. Now I had considered matching it up with our teapot up here and make them a sort of matching pair but I figured that it would be quite fun to do it a little bit differently just then you get a different sort of idea of how to colour something. Now the flowers on the cup to start with I thought were very cute and um, I quite like to do them in a bluey colour. I'm just sharpening a pencil because they are titchy tiny. Pencil doesn't want to sharpen. Oh I hope it's snapping. There we go that might be okay. So I've got the ultramarine blue colour um, to use and I'm going to do the petals. Now they are really small so I'm not going to do anything fancy. I am just literally going to colour them in. And uh, if this was my cup and saucer, I would think it would look rather pretty if the cup was white and the flowers blue. But colouring things in white is not something I've had enough practice at to uh, be confident in showing you so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do these dots in the same colour as the petals. They're very tricky. You may need a, a magnifying glass to see. I really could do with one. I was actually, actually I need to uh, have a look. Someone I was watching who was doing um, watercolour paintings actually. Um, not something I can do. I'm just picking my yellow. I'm going to do the middle's yellow. Um, was using a little handheld magnifier to observe her flowers before she painted golden yellow deep and I thought that was a really good idea and uh, that I would I could do with it was looks like the type you would have if you were looking at insects or a stamp collector or something like that. Now the main colour of our cup and saucer <clears throat> excuse me I'm thinking like a very pale blue might work with the blue flowers we've got a lot of blue going on in this picture but maybe that's okay I don't think any of our other colors are really going to work that well I haven't really thought this through to be honest so we're going to go with blue and this is our lightest blue which is the cobalt turquoise which is what I am going to use and what I think I would do is put a light layer over the whole cup and then it will help me think about where I need darker and lighter shades. I'm going to go really gentle. I don't want much colour down at the minute. It doesn't matter if I go over the blue flowers because they're blue and we won't notice but I don't want to go over the yellow flower centres. I realise they're a little bit further away which is good but um, if I go over those I might end up with green which there's nothing wrong with green but it is not the colour I wanted. I'm going to sharpen up my pencil and then start. This doesn't seem to want to sharpen this sharpener. I'm just going to open it and see what's going on. Uh, there's lots of sharpenings all around the uh, blade, probably preventing it. Oh, now I've got a big mess. That's better. Oh, I've spilt some sharpening on my desk. I just move them away or else I'm going to be dragging my sleeve in them and getting them all over the floor. I'll tidy up in a minute, I promise. <laughs> so we start with the inside of the cup. There's going to be some shadow inside, so it's going to be a bit darker. Now you could use a different colour for the shadow. I am just going to use this colour at the minute. So I'm thinking along the edges particularly and like this, so a bit more here and here and along this line like that, okay. And this base part is the next easiest bit I always think. It's a bit of shade underneath the sort of body of the cup. Think about the angle of that cup and the shade it's going to give, yeah. And then the sides here as well will be darker than the front because it's curved like that. Okay, let me just check in the camera that you can actually see what I'm doing. I think so. I can't zoom in anymore. I could lower my camera slightly. We'll probably end up getting blurry. Now the handle, the very bottom would be more shadowed and the bottom of that bit 
the bottom here I'm thinking and the bottom of that bit like that it slightly gives the handle a little bit of shape as well if it was a bigger handle you would want to put a dark edge all the way around it to make it look round because obviously it's not flat it's probably a round piece of clay or whatever it's made from okay the main cup I'm thinking it would be sticking out like this so this part would be closer to us so these two edges are further away they'll be a bit darker so we're gonna go into the edge here with our darkest um, shade and then reduce it as we come towards the middle getting that even is not always easy but it just takes lots of practice just try and see how you get on don't expect it to be perfect the first time it won't be it won't be perfect the millionth time I'm doing it for the millionth time it's not perfect so uh, don't have don't put too much pressure on yourself just enjoy and I'm thinking about the shade here as well, a bit here and here, maybe under there, not so much at the front where the light is catching. There we go. Now, on our teapot we drew in some shine. I'd quite like to do the same on this cup, but I really don't think a white pen will really show up very well. You need quite a lot of layers of pencil to do that because um, it, uh, or otherwise the white paper just sort of absorbs the pen and you can't see it. But I just darkened each edge so I can try and put a little bit on. Um, we'll see if it works. If it disappears and doesn't show up, it's we've lost nothing. So I'm using Jelly Roll number five. It's the thinnest one. And what I'm going to do is go across through my flower because my flower should be printed on my, um, I'm just going to scribble with my pen, get it working. My flower should be printed onto my cup so it will shine as well. I put a little bit through there and there. It's unlikely that you will really see it, but there'll be a bit, maybe a bit there. Mm, here. Just a bit. Can't really see. The pen doesn't want to work. I think it's running out. We need to get some more. But uh, you can see that one there a little bit. So it's up to you if you think it's worth the effort of doing that. If you have the pens, you might just want to give it a go. But there is our little teacup. It didn't take long, did it? It's quite a small cup. And keeping the colours similar makes it a little bit easier and quicker for us. So that is me for today. Let's try and straighten you up a bit. He looks a little bit wonky. Do you think he's drunk? Probably not. He's only a cup of tea. Anyway, that's me for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring.